get an exclusive look at a lab in one of the most famously secretive companies on Earth, Apple. Many of their own employees didn't even know it existed until now. But the innovations pouring out may change the face of medical research, and you could be a part of it all. Here's ABC's Rebecca Jarvis. Behind this unassuming door, a covert operation at the world's most valuable company. Let's go check it out. All right, give it to me straight. How top secret is this place we are sitting in right now? And you're the first person through that's, uh, that's not part of the Apple team, so it's pretty secret. Our cameras exclusively going where no outsider has gone before. Inside this 23,000 square foot health lab, where Apple employees have been putting on high-tech gear worth billions of dollars and running, growing, and downward dogging for nearly two years. We took this whole building and gutted it and turned it into a state-of-the-art fitness lab, and we're learning so much. It's crazy. Their workouts, secret research, shaping the most highly anticipated health features on Apple's new watch, unveiled in September. Set to go on sale next month, it'll range from $349 to an 18-karat gold version that will run you $17,000. Will let you track your calories, heart rate, and even how much you walk or stand. So, how does something like this ultimately translate to that watch that you're wearing on your wrist? So, we have a number of sensors that we have available to us that can actually help us get information. Jay Blonick, Apple's director of fitness for health technologies, taking us behind the scenes to see the volunteers, Apple employees, including engineers, managers, and developers. What do you do for Apple? Software uh, engineer. Software engineer. Kind of cool that you work for a company that lets you come test things out like this, yeah? <laughs> In the two years this lab has been open, we've had over 10,000 of these sessions that you're seeing right now, over 18,000 hours of data collection. The kicker to all this... They didn't even know what they were working on. That's a lot of hard work to not know what you're doing. It is, it is, a, lot, it is a lot of hard work, <laughs> but we've got great employees, and they, they, they just love contributing. Great employees in fancy headgear. How are you feeling? Thumbs up? <laughs> what is she wearing on her head? Yeah, so that's to be able to trap exactly how hard is she breathing. It's the best way to really get to the truth of how many calories you're actually burning and how much you're, how hard you're working. So you're also testing this thing outdoors. When you think about it, most people's activities are not all in the gym. And of course, we've also got to do the testing outdoors. Here we go. And into climate chambers, where Apple is testing our physical response to different temperatures and levels of humidity. Get a chance to see inside. Here we go. Oh, this is chilly. Yeah. <laughs> so you can feel right now that doing an activity outside or coming in here, it really does replicate that kind of colder climate. And if you were all hooked up with the equipment, we'd be able to learn a lot about how your body responds, what we're able to measure. And that's been really useful to us. With all that personal data recorded, from heart rates to location, some question how secure your information will really be. How about privacy? Because we've now seen a number of data breaches. If your health information is stolen on the black market, it's actually 10 times more valuable than your financial information. How does this protect your privacy? The data from the watch is stored on the phone, and we don't have access to that information. We believe that all of the activity data that comes from the watch that ends up on the phone, you get to decide what third-party apps you share that data with. The health initiatives reaching far beyond Apple's own employees. Enter Research Kit, an open-source platform where the population at large can participate in research studies through an app. We visited Stanford Medicine to see it in action. This is going to change the way your job works. Definitely. Uh, certainly from the research side, it uh, gives us a whole new way to do medical research. Dr. Michael McConnell enrolled 25,000 participants in his heart health study in just one week using his app. 25,000 people in a week. Have you ever signed up 25,000 people in a week for any study ever? Certainly, personally, I have not. <laughs> his app is one of five that has lured thousands of participants in just days. I think it's a very big game changer. Traditionally, reaching many people 
to participate in research studies is quite challenging. The ability to reach people through their phone um, is one major advance. This unprecedented data collection and all that sweating in secret helping the company that redefined our phones chart its next revolution in the way we live. From now on, I need to do all my interviews on a treadmill so I can get my workout in as I'm working. Live from a climate chamber in Cupertino in the top secret headquarters of 